How's it going everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to edit your Mario Kart 7 save data. So without further ado, let's get into this. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is a tutorial for Citra Emulator. I'm not sure this works on the Nintendo 3DS, but or Nintendo 2DS or any console like that, but I'm not, yeah, I'm not exactly sure because I don't have a 3DS or anything like that. So, what we're going to go do, is we're going to go into the link in the description. First I'll let my web browser open. Alright, and then, once it's done loading, I'm going to go to this link right here. It's a website that lets you edit your Mario Kart 7 save data. And it will be asking for a system serial.dat file. That serial is a placeholder number, by the way. It will be a completely different number. For Probably. So to get this same file, you want to go into Citra. And then to prove that there's nothing on this save, I'm going to go into Mario Kart real quick and show you that I have no cups or any or anything unlocked except for the default ones. Because that's what I'm planning on doing. So I'm going to go into 50, I'm going to go to my character. Gonna choose OK. I'll just use my mouse for it. make it faster. As you can see, there's nothing. I'll go into um, 150 or 150 and 100 CC. Do the same thing. Click on OK. There's nothing here either. It's kind of slow. Sorry, my PC doesn't really work that well. Whenever I playing a 3DS game and recording except for like certain games like New Super Mario Bros. 2 so as you can see there's nothing here either so I'm just gonna stop the simulation then what I'm gonna do now is or what you wanna do now is you wanna right click on the game then I'm gonna go to open save data location don't mind the two things that I or I downloaded two accidentally but I downloaded two of the same ROM and stuff. So what I have here or what you have here is a replay folder, replay underscore folder. But here's the main thing you want to system 3dat system 4dat And then what I am going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to use this folder I have here. I'm going to it does yeah I'm doing this to make things a little easier. You don't have to use a different folder, but I like to. So what I'm going to do is copy or move everything over to here. It also doesn't matter what you name the folder. So now what you want to do, we're going to go into web browser again. Then I'm going to first drag system 3dat in, and then I'm going to click on on the, the tab that says unlocks. I'm going to click on all cups all characters, all carts, all tires, and all gliders. And then I'm just going to choose max number. Let's see, I think that, let's see. There we go. I'm not really sure what the max coins is, so I'm just going to do 1,000. Then wins, I'm just going to do 5. Then loses, I'm just going to do 23. And then what you want to do is click on save changes. It will say use this tool at your own risk. By using it, you are responsible for any data loss. Click on I understand. Then it will download. Now we're going to go back. Actually I'm going to do the same new tab to make things a little easier. Then we're also going to go do the exact same thing to system 4dat Then I'm going to copy all these things I did over here over to the other one. So I'm going to do coins as 1000. Then I'm going to do street pass as 0, leave for that 0. So I'm going to do wins as 5. Then I'm going to do loses as 23. Then VR points as 99,999 
Then I'm going to do unlocks, then unlock everything. Save so changes. Then I'll do it, then I'll download automatically without the pop up. And now, what we're going to do is now what I'm going to do is go over to my downloads folder. Then I'm going to uh, grab these and then I'm going to put them over into this folder we've made earlier. Then we are going to replace. Then I'm going to copy all this. Actually, I'll just move it over. But first, let me just go back into the save data location. Then we are going to um, move just over here. Then we are going to go back into Mario Kart 7 and see if it works. I will go into single player. Go to Grand Prix, go into 50, and as you can see, every character has been unlocked. I am going to choose Yoshi, and then I'm going to I'm going to choose a random cart. As you can see, they're all unlocked. I'm just going to choose the gold standard, gold wheels, and let's see. I'm just going to choose the gold glider. Cause why not? Then, as you can see, we unlocked all tracks. And to show this works, I am going to do a tiny bit of racing. I want, I probably won't do a full race because this the gameplay would be really slow. What? Because the I can't remember I said this earlier, but everything's slow for me whenever I record this game. So I'm probably just gonna do like maybe one lap, and then I'll end the video. Maybe not even full up because it's taking quite a bit to load the race. Okay, there we go. Also, sorry for no audio. I um, wasn't sure what type of volume to do this on whenever I'm recording, so I didn't want to have to deal with all that, so I just decided to mute it. Now you can see. We are racing on Piranha Plant Slide, which is a course you need to unlock. And it's really slow, like I stated earlier. So, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. So, if it did help you, I'm glad it did. And, yes, yeah, thanks for watching, and, yeah, bye.